Thanks for coming. Uh, if you were with us the last episode, um, I was checking inside this machine, and every chip I checked, sort of from midway back, or, so it was fine. I did go for this ROM chip, which I believe these ROMs have been upgraded to 2.0, and there was one wonky leg, and I think there is socket trouble. Anyway. What am I going to do? Well, I pondered. I have pondered. I am pondering. I could swap out all the ROM chips to this machine and see what happens. I could. I'm curious about this socket here. The trouble with the socket. Because right now, I, I really don't know if I can even get this chip back in safely. Because I think there's trouble with the socket. Like if oh, my glasses. Actually, I'm going to go for the quad focals this time. Maybe I can get a closer look. I'm not sure. If somehow it's very hard to see. I can see all the contacts on all the other holes quite fine, even from here, holding the light just fine, but not in that one. I'm wondering, can I do this? leaning this back. Check. Woo. Once again, connectors that have been in the same place for 40 years are often not happy to leave them. I'm just going to try and lean this back. anything fall, and then get right over top of this, and I really think I have a, perhaps a rare, but certainly a socket pin failure, I believe, and that is going to be Challenging. So, what I'm thinking, because I am, just a second, I'm going to turn this on, make sure it's working. Okay, it's working. What I'm thinking that I might do now, because I'm not ready to unsolder and tinker with sockets, another big problem often with these machines are the RAM chips. The RAM chips are very unfriendly to static, aren't we all though? So, an MPS 6550 made in the 14th week of 1978. So I think what I'm going to do is as another thing, that I, I, I'm going to have to do it anyway, so I might as well do it now. I am going to put each RAM chip, one at a time, into the screen RAM sockets on this machine. Oh, you know what? Uh, it's time to switch back. Sometimes the quad focals are just dandy. But when you're working where you're sort of in between the distance of any of the things, it's not helpful. So I'm going to put this RAM chip in here, I'm going to turn on the machine, and I'm going to see that it comes up 
just fine. Good job. So then, I'm going to carefully extract it. I'm, I'm, I'm of two minds whether I should put them all back in immediately, because of course I know the machine doesn't need them all to operate. And it may end up, I'm having to take these all out again anyway. But I guess I will put them all back in as I am working away here. Alright. There's only 16 of them. Uh, actually, in the machine, there are 18. Alright. Turn it on. I would be shocked if somewhere along the way I don't find at least one of these that's bad. It just happens. In the other machines, I do believe I have found of the 54. I think I found six that were bad. That's not terrible. But it's good to know, because definitely if the RAM chips are bad, uh, they can present in all kinds of different ways. They can. Alright, we'll turn this on. This is our third. We're okay. Just 13 to go. Once again, you can do this faster. You can yank them all, put them all in, swap the RAM, etc., etc., etc. But really, the best thing to do with troubleshooting, painfully slow as it is. thing at a time, each time this one is presenting difficulties. There we go. I think that's okay. Um, because if you do more than one thing at a time, no matter how small, then you enter into a situation where you're just not quite sure. All right. Now, this quick on and off does not necessarily prove that they're all just dandy, because some chips fail when they're cold, some chips fail when they're hot. But certainly, if there was something tragic where a chip has just failed, we would see that immediately on the screen. Alright. 14 to go. And while I'm doing this, of course, I'm thinking about what I might do with the ROM chips in this machine here. Because, of course, from what I can tell, they have been upgraded. So, would, you know, I got a weird thing with the one chip I did, but also I had the funny socket thing going on. So would, would one round chip from a set of seven work without the other six, or would it present some weird stuff? And I think it would present weird stuff. So... I'm thinking that after I do these and test each one painstakingly slowly,
Andrew? Ten to go. Andrew, I am filming. You okay? Yes. Okay. Can we play catch? Is it Jim? Yes. Okay, I need to switch these ten chips. Why don't you go to the laundry room? No, I gotta pee. Okay. Well, that's right near the laundry room. Look in there. I just took a whole bunch of stuff out of the dryer. You should be able to find things to wear. So I just need to swap these few chips. Well, ten more. And then away we go. Alright, make that nine more. <coughs> Once again, do not rush the process. Do not rush the process. Okay, that's good. I'm pleased. These round chips, if you go to replace them, well, they're nearly impossible to find. There is an adapter board. I bought one a while back that uses a different chip and allows it to work and I think they're, I mean they're fine. I just don't know if they're still available. So... to put one of these in and it doesn't feel quite right stop okay that feels good uh -huh. we have found a bad ram chip we have not that I'm pleased but it's better Ooh, what's going on here to find it, then not find it. All right, I'm going to put this down for a second, and I'm going to move this other board away. So, um, and maybe I will close this up for a moment. See the screen. Oh my. The screen does crazy things. It's now full of asterisks and things. And now it's changing. With each um, thing. So we definitely have one bad RAM chip. So that's, we've changed eight, one bad one. So maybe, for the moment, that's enough. I will turn this off. I will leave it exactly as it is. And in the next episode, we will continue with our RAM chip explorations as well as pondering the ROM chips and the socket. So, thank you for coming. I believe it is time to throw a baseball. Bye for now.